congratulations to, to the me. flag. <laughs> yeah, he sticks his in the pie. Into the pie. I'm done with this. Hey guys, I'm Billy. And I'm Lauren. And today we're going to be trying 4th of July dishes. God bless America, honey. S'mores, toasted marshmallow, and a layer of chocolate sandwiched between two graham crackers, a sweet, gooey treat that's perfect while watching the fireworks. Yeah, I've never actually had a proper American s'more before. I've had like the UK version, which is like digestive biscuit. Yeah, and it's really tapped. I've had a real s'more on a real campfire in a real America. Really? You can call him, kill my s'more, he not. Kill my s'more, he not. Kill my s'more, he not. So this one was made earlier and it's hard. <laughs> it's like a rock now. Mine looks perfect. Wow. Let me see if mine does that. No. <laughs> oh my god. This is like America's lady in a trunk. But you're too for brown. I think the marshmallow is cancelling out the sick of the Hershey's. The more I chew it, the harder it actually gets. Mm. It's like a, um, a task. A task I'm willing to accept. Oh, that's really, that's really. I can tell why Americans are absolutely obsessed with these in, the, in every single film they ever made. It's bad. Yeah, I'm bad. I find it's been hard enough. <laughs> Three, two, one, set. Why is Independence Day celebrated? Because it's the day where America, America became a country. Um, to celebrate America's when America's independence, independence from, from the rest of the world. British colonialism. They decided to make their own team. Their own team. It's not the Avengers. <laughs> Americans celebrate Independence Day to commemorate July 4th, 1776, the day that the Continental Congress declared that the 13 American colonies were no longer oh, subject right. to the monarch of Britain. Ah, yeah, see? Thank you, you Joshua. They left the Queen and her people them, and that's how we have Bridgerton. <laughs> Therefore, Bridgerton. Chili dog, consisting of a hot dog topped with chili and cheese and other toppings such as onion, relish, or mustard sometimes, a chili dog is an all-American, messy but delicious 4th of July treat. I ain't never seen two pretty hot dogs. We ordered these in. I don't think Americans put all this oh, like tortilla and guacamole and all this on top. Well, they might. Some people probably do. You know there's always that dad that, that, that's just mad extra on the grill. Yeah, me. True pioneers of the camp culinary world. Why do you keep saying camp? Because it isn't, what's the video? July 4th barbecue Oh, I foods. thought it was about campfire food. <laughs> I don't know how to bite this. This is one of those things you massive. bite and it ends up on your chest. You can't eat this on like a first date or something, can you? That would yes, literally. You can. And prepare. I said, this is top 10 things I've eaten in the last two months. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Correct. I might have to have this every day. Yes. The chili is very spicy, mm. and I'm not feeling the texture. It's not spicy. It's mild. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I can literally just see this going through my bloodstream like the boat in Willy Wonka, Chocolate River. I think the nachos on top really make that what it is. Are you right? Don't tell me you think it's spicy. It's literally not <coughs> even a little it's bit. Stuck. Find me a video where you're not gagged in one of them. Find me the video. I think it's, it's the only one that's called it can be. Ten. According to the National Hot Dog and Sausage Council of America, what? how many hot dogs are eaten on Independence Day? That's not a real thing. Firstly, why does that exist? That's not a thing. <laughs> 200 million of them have a hot dog. No, I'd have maybe two, two each. Yes, I mean, so maybe 400, 500 million. 500 million. 1.2 billion hot dogs. Wait, you haven't said your answer. I'm agreeing with you. You're always right. Rosie's always right. I am, yeah, true. Yeah. Americans will eat 150 million hot dogs. That's enough to stretch from DC to LA five times. And you're out here talking about billions. Well, America would just clearly like a lot of chicken wings more. Apple pie. This delicious pie consisting of apples, cinnamon, sugar, and butter. No 4th of July would be complete without America's most recognized dessert. I hate seeing physical fruit in desserts. I think it's rude and I prefer it pure pureed because I'm either a baby or a old person. Like I feel like it's very out, the apple is just there. Yeah, like, Normally it's more like pureed. I can see some kind of cinnamon. Yes, cinnamon. <laughs> I have high expectations because it is such a like classic, classic in yeah. American films anyway. I'm ready to go. I think the only apple pie I've ever had is McDonald's apple pie. Yeah, so standards are low. Yes. <laughs> Mm. Oh, and I see the pastry with the cinnamon just on it. Oh, it's amazing. Also, a bit of ice cream. 
Yeah. Hot and the cold combos always makes it like a million times better. Soft, like the apples are really soft, but not in a weird way. I don't like, you know when you bite into like a soft apple. Texture. Yeah, yeah, I quite like that though. If you just gave me pie crusts, I would eat them. Dew in between the fruit, um, that sends me slightly west. So we used to go pick blackberries and we used to bake them into a pie. Is that safe? Blackberry apple pie. Yeah. We were told not to pick Isn't bushes. Isn't nature safe? It's blackberries on a bush. No, because there's some things you eat and they will kill you. Yeah, but not blackberries, Mark. And it's like one of those school experiments, like, what does this piece of bread look like after three years? Isn't it like American Pie, that film where we like, Was the it? main guy in it, yeah, he sticks his... In the pie. Into the pie. I'm done with this. Yeah, and on that note, uh, five for the pastry, zero for the fruit. Can you recite the Pledge of Allegiance? I can. Me too. But you should go first. I learned it after my last shambles. I pledge allegiance to the United States of America. I pledge allegiance to the flag. I will not fight him. I pledge allegiance to the, to flag, the flag of the United, United States, States of America. America. I don't think I know. I will not fight him. Who's him? Why do I keep saying that? I don't know. <laughs> and I'm, to the... You can't just copy me once I go to... I'm not copying you. <laughs> I'm just delayed. I'm oh, say, say, can you see? Pledge allegiance to, to the me. flag. <laughs> to me. And to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. True. I don't know why I know that. See, she was so loud, you couldn't even hear me singing. St. Louis pork ribs, covered in a dry rub, smoked in a wood smoker for six hours, and smothered in barbecue sauce. If done properly, the meat should be tender enough to slide right off the bone. Is this a rib? Rib. What kind of monster pig? Dinosaur. Personally, I would go for ribs on a menu. This is a hint. We don't get ribs like this. We don't get ribs like this. Quite messy. Not, yes. a, not a date dinner. No. Not, uh... No, it wouldn't. Get, oh, I've not been on a date, so I wouldn't know what to get and what not to get. I'm yeah. gonna lick it. Okay, go on. What is wrong with her? So I can't take her nowhere. It's barbecue. <laughs> Yours is burnt. I will like the mess and I like getting it all around my mouth. She's a messy b wow. No one lets a raven has a vision, yeah? <laughs> Falling off the bone. Yeah. Out of ten. Ten again, man. Virginia is the birthplace to eight American presidents, but can you name them all? Where is Virginia? West Virginia, Map Mama. George Washington Carver. As in like knock off Prosecco? Isn't that perfect? <laughs> George F. Kennedy? Geraldine Kennedy. Who's Joe, George yeah. F. Kennedy? JFK. Was his first name George? Mm. Night Museum. Oh, Roosevelt. Teddy Roosevelt. Yeah. Roosevelt. Okay, how many have you I reckon he is. He's got a B. The eight presidents that were born in Virginia are George Washington, Thomas Jefferson, James Madison, James Monroe, William Henry Harrison, John Tyler, Zachary Taylor, and Woodrow Wilson. They're all made up. Uh, yeah, I've so never heard of them. That was a prank question. Thanks for watching, guys. Let us know in the comments below what your favorite 4th of July dish is. And don't forget to like and share if you want to see more beauty challenges.